couple of minutes before we got to go to break, so I want to sneak yeah. in one little side note with you real quick. Nora mentioned that the two best EPA performances by a Jets quarterback this year were actually from Joe Flacco. Joe Flacco, side note, sidebar, in a loss last night, passed Joe Montana on the all-time passing list, which says a whole lot less about Joe Flacco than it does the era in which Joe Flacco played compared to Joe Montana. We obviously know there's no comparison between the Joes. I just thought it was a great excuse to talk about not only the greatness of Joe Montana, Michael, but you know what? Yeah. Let's have some fun. Drop it. Boom. And it weighs a ton. Let's have some fun. There it is. Who is on your, at this point, who's on your quarterback, Mount Rushmore, at this point in time? Well, Joe Montana's on there. And, and Joe Montana right. is going to be on there. He'll always be on there. So uh, Joe Got Montana, for life. Um, Tom Brady uh, yep. will be on there. I got to put uh, Peyton Manning on there. Okay. Yes. Okay. Peyton, all right. yes. But, yeah. No, 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 no argument. No argument. No, no, no. It's not, okay. not at all. Not at all. Not at all. It's just it's gotten, it's gotten harder. This conversation has gotten harder with, with the, the era that we're in, and I'll let you get number four, but yeah. with the era that we're in, the numbers that people are putting up, there's a lot more guys who can make a case for being on this quarterback, Mount Rushmore, uh, that have kind of joined into the conversation in recent years. So, okay, Peyton Manning, Tom Brady, Joe Montana, and who's your fourth? <sighs> I don't know. I don't know. I, I'm really thinking about this. I, I may, I may go with... Um, and this goes against everything I'm about to say. I know I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna put this guy on there, and then uh, I want you to uh, give me your four. And then I'll go Dan Marino, who That's goes against everything Brady. I'm about to say. But give me your four. I know Steve Young's on there but, for you. But wait, why does it go against everything you're about to say? Well, give me your four, then I'll tell you. Um, oh, okay, my four. All right, you got because you, honestly, you got Steve Young, you got Marino. Who else? You know the other two. You, you, you know, listen, this is like the dating game. Oh, you Aaron Rodgers. All right. You, all right, you got Aaron Rodgers, Steve Young, Marino. Um, obvious. The obvious one. Is it? Yeah. Who? I mean, I, I don't, I don't, you, you can't have, you can't have a Mount Rushmore without Tom Brady. I mean, you, you kind of have okay, to. Okay, I, I didn't know, there. I didn't know if you were, because, you, you know, you've been <laughs> disrespectful. Well, after maybe. Sunday night, so, I'm, well, after Sunday night, I'm not sure. You know, maybe I got to okay, rethink it go. after 38 to 30. Go take out one. I don't know. Just take out you one. <laughs> all right, but see, all right, but this, but is, I, I, this yeah. is where, this is where I think we got to have this conversation, like in all sports. So, mm -hmm. look at those stats, and Joe Montana is, is passed by Joe Flacco. I, that's ridiculous, right? right? So, yeah. it's just like, it's hard because it, what, they played in a different era. And I never yep. paid attention to Joe Montana's yardage, ever. Like, no. if, if you ask me, I know some trivia stuff, but if you ask me how, how, many, how many touchdown passes did Joe Montana throw, I don't know. Yards, I don't you know. know. The, the, definitive, the definitive Joe Montana stat for a long time was 11 touchdowns and no picks. That was his four Super Bowl. Uh, that's Until what Joe Flacco Bowl, matched it. Well, no, you're thinking about that one Super Bowl run. I'm talking about... You're, right. talking, you're thinking about that postseason run. I'm talking about it, all run. four Super but Bowl Joe, wins. But Joe Montana for his career, for his career, never threw an interception. For his career in Super Bowls uh, was 11 touchdowns, Super no Bowls. picks, yes. Yeah, I believe that's right. Yeah, yeah. but see, I, but, but these guys, it's like in basketball, looking at scoring, the scoring leaders for, for guys who didn't play with a three-point shot. Or right. the three-point shot was there, but it wasn't as prevalent as, as it is today. It just wasn't a part of the game. So it's hard to look at numbers and just say, well, yeah. this guy's got yeah. X amount of yards, so he's great. I don't look at it that way. But that being said, Joe Mont uh, when Dan Marino retired, he was so far ahead of everybody else. He had numbers exactly. that we thought would never be exactly. caught, in, and, and they were. That's, yeah. Well, mine is a more stylistic thing. It's like MCs, right? You know, you could talk about longevity and numbers. It's like, you can't, look, Drew Brees you know what deserves an honorable mention. Unitas was the original he did, he did all of this stuff that we're seeing at the line of scrimmage before anybody. Obviously, you can make a case for, for Peyton Manning. But for me, in terms of just the guys, that's why I pick MCs by who I like listening to. I pick quarterbacks who's, by like, yo, who was that guy when I watched him? Again, Steve Young at his peak. Kentucky. Who's Mahomes going to replace? Um, who's Mahomes going to replace question. in three years? You know, I feel like Rodgers is the best to ever do it. Marino was my favorite growing up for all the reasons you talked about. And Brady just, you know, he's, he's the GOAT. Who's Mahomes going to replace? 
Wow, let me think about that. I'm going to take the break and think about it. Maybe I'll answer you on don't have Peyton. That's, that's... You don't have Peyton on your list. That's amazing. Hey, thanks for watching Brother From Another on YouTube. Make sure you hit subscribe before you leave and be sure to watch us 3 to 5 p.m. Eastern Time on Peacock. Appreciate you.